guys so if you like to see how i go from this to this then just keep on watching Okay, so today I filmed kind of like a get ready with me. Um, it's a voiceover, so yeah. Um, it's not really necessarily a tutorial, but I do think that you can follow along with it. Um, the palette that I'm using is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, World Traveler Shadow Couture Palette. And it just looks like this. It has some like really, really gorgeous, gorgeous colors. If you have 30 hours extra to spend i highly recommend getting this palette like i'm going to be using this palette a lot because it has some really gorgeous shades in there one of my favorites is pink champagne it's metallic and that's that greenish color right there i use this in the palette in the uh in my video as well but yeah this only retail for about 30 dollars i got mine from ulta um yeah i really enjoyed this palette i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up um don't forget to like share subscribe and all that other good jazz leave other suggestions that you would like to see um down below and yeah i'll talk uh slow down Andrea. so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to vote the link will be down below i really 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 want to make the top six so yeah, I will leave the link down below for my um, Pacifica Muse contest and I will leave the uh, video link to the video that I'm talking about down below as well. So please go over to vote. I believe you can vote up to three times a day. So yeah, please vote. Tell your friends, your mother, your cousin, your aunts, grandma, grandpa, anyone, please just go ahead and click that um that link in the description and vote and i will talk to you guys soon bye hi guys okay so i'm going to start off with the color morocco from the anastasia beverly hills shadow couture world traveler palette that is a mouthful but i'm going to take that in my crease and blend it out next i'm going to go in with the color fudge and just use that to kind of deepen up the crease and just add a little bit more depth to the look Okay, so once that's blended out, I'm going to take a bit more of that fudge and just add it to the outer V portion of my lid, making sure just to uh, focus it on the outer V and bring it into my crease. Next, I'm going to take the color metallic, which is this really, really gorgeous greenish yellow mustardish color, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid, kind of leaving the um, inner tear ducts and a little bit more of that inner tear duct loose so I can apply another color as well. So next I'm just going to blend that out and I'm going in with this kind of like a pencil brush and I'm going to take the color Chic and I'm going to apply that in my inner tear duct and bring it up a little bit further if you can see what I mean. Now I'm just going to go in with some e.l.f. Uh, liquid eyeliner and line my lash line. I'm not doing a really dramatic line. Next, I'm going with some Lashes by Lash XO. These are my favorite right next to Coco Goddess because they remind me of each other. Those are the only two lashes I've been wearing for like a few weeks now. Like, I'm addicted. Next, I'm going to go in with some e.l.f. mascara and just apply that to get ready to apply the false lashes so they can mix together. How gorgeous are these lashes? Like, seriously. And I think they're like around the same price as Goddess Lashes. So, Coco Goddess Lashes and these by Lash XO, I can't remember the name, but I'll link it down below, have been my favorite. Now I'm going to go in with my uh, Beauty Blender, and this was my first time using a Beauty Blender to apply my foundation, and I love it. Um, if you guys know, I've been saying that I've had problems with fine lines. This helps out so much. I don't know why I haven't tried it before. Before, I would just be like, that's not going to help. But I really love using a Beauty Blender to apply my foundation now. It just makes it look so seamless. So I did go a bit overboard with the concealer. I was just like, whoa, I did not mean to apply that much. But I was talking on the phone when I applied it. And I was just like playing with my face while I was doing it. Not a good idea, but yeah. So it's going to take a bit more extra blending to make sure that it just looks right. So yeah, this blending process took a long time. So yeah, just be careful with that. Next, I'm going to go in with that NYX setting powder that I always use, but my Buttercup uh, finally came, so that's what I'll be using now. Uh, right now, I'm just going to go in with that Sleek Contour Kit and this e.l.f. Uh, 
contour brush I'm in love with it because it gives that sharp contour line and it is amazing but I'm going to use that to contour my face and I'm going to apply a bit of covergirl ebony bronzer on my face as well just to blend it all out Do, do, do. Phenomenon. Y'all remember that commercial? Thumbs up if you remember that commercial. Okay, right now I'm going in with my all-time favorite raisin blush, and I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. So now I'm going in with this, I believe it was LA Color Brown, any brown lip liner or eye pencil will work. So that's what I'm using right here. And I'm just lining my lips. And in the middle of my lips, I'm using Satin Mauve by Essence. I love this love 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 this lip pencil is so smooth i got it from ulta and it was only 99 cents so in the center of that to kind of give that gradient look i'm going to apply milk um eyeshadow base by nyx and as you can see it gives that really gorgeous ombre look and that's what i was going for but i'm going to go back in with that satin mauve and just kind of fill it in where i feel like it's just too much of that pale color just so it can blend and look a bit more uh seamless so yeah, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.